Hello. So um, I'm going to present a little bit uh, of the structure of the studios of Hyrus. Um, Hyrus is a studio, not an agency, and that's an important distinction because we believe that, uh, well, a studio is a little bit more flexible than an agency. And uh, still, we like to grow, so a little bit of our heritage is based pretty much in London. Um, Hyrus was formed by um, Florian Schmidt and Alexander Jugovic in 1999. So a long, long heritage uh, based uh, in the studio in London and we opened up uh, pretty much uh, three new studios uh, last year. So the first one was in New York in January, then uh, Hamburg, which is run by myself, in summer um, 2011. And the, the newest one uh, is uh, here in Berlin, actually, which opened up two months ago. We are part of Synergy, which is um, a big uh, group and network here in, in, in Germany. So we have um, a, a nice combination of uh, creative studios on the one hand and a big technical background uh, on the other, um, supposed and, and driven by, um, by Synergy. What is important uh, to us, uh, to each studio, that each one has his own playground, which is quite important that everybody have a feeling of building up his own structure, having the, the chance to develop his own business and and own kind of ideas. So, a short reel of what we've done last year. challenges that we're facing um, throughout the last two years is pretty much that we're coming from a big film background from microsites and with a switch from flash technology to H105, this all changed. Pretty much the whole business changed for us because um, all we've done in the past um, is something that we're quite questioning at the moment to see what is the next step where we can bring our experience coming from branded entertainment, storytelling, um, lots of, of film production, um, using it on multi-devices, because Flash is not possible to use as a technology anymore. So um, that's something that we're facing pretty much in each studio. Here's a little bit uh, of Harris Hamburg, which um, I'm presenting, representing. So um, we have 15 people working there. And our structure is an open structure, means that we have lots of, um, let's say, permanent workers, employees, and uh, lots of uh, permanent freelancers. 
that we found quite interesting and um, important to give them the opportunity to work with us uh, even though they don't really looking for a permanent job or, or position. So um, another challenge we are facing, not so much just um, from a technical background that the whole business changed, but as well how can we um, give a playground to talents that we want to um, work with us. That's some impressions of our studio. Um, as I said, it's quite new, half a year now. And um, a case that I want to present a little bit more into detail was part of the show that I showed before, the case for Hyundai um, that represents quite nicely the way we would like to work in the future much more, um, to combine digital experience um, together with a kind of a true event of the possibility to show um, how we can use digital technology um, in combination uh, with presenting, for instance, here for Hyundai, um, a new car in an unseen way. So the task here was to present the new i40 before it came to the uh, Motor Show in Geneva and um, to develop an idea on how the users could um, have a glimpse, a first glimpse on the look and feel of the, uh, the design of the new i40 but not showing the whole car. So um, I would like to give the word to our colleagues in London who developed it together with us and I just show a short making off of it. My name's Antar and I'm a designer at High Res in London. Hyundai approached us to come up with a unique concept to tease the car in for the official reveal of the i40 at the Geneva Motor Show. In a way, it was about showing a car without actually showing it, or at least not all of it. The idea was to create a counterpoint to the Geneva Motor Show by handing it over to the people who were interested in the car, allowing them to interactively uncover a real i40 in a studio in Germany by controlling a grid of lights suspended above the car. They were able to do this for a web interface and the animation was streamed back in real time. My job on location was to make sure that the uh, lighting setup was as we had conceptualised it in London and just basically looking after the art direction of, uh, of the entire look and feel of the project. We didn't envisage the magnitude of adjusting each individual light. The actual physical consequence of, of making everything was actually quite a long and arduous process, but ultimately worth it. Hello, I'm Theo, I'm a developer for High res in London. On this project, my work involved taking this concept and uh, turning it into a physical website. There was a new challenge because we had a lot of technologies involved in making this work remotely from the computer of the user all the way to the installation and making it come back. <laughs> well, right now the guys are going to light the car and uh, we're just playing around with the um the connection from the internet to the to the actual light rig. The software here receives stuff from the net and pushes it out to the light rig. So you've got like a representation of, uh, of the lights. When people arrive on the site, they can log in using their Facebook account. Once they're logged in, they can click and drag their mouse around and that will light up uh, individual lights on top of the high end 40. Using different camera views, they can also check it out from different angles. When they're happy with this, they can submit their animation and then they move back to the home page where they can see a live stream of their animation from the warehouse. It was extremely exciting to see all these elements getting together and see it work actually, seeing that happen, submitting it, testing it. 
and having a direct response uh, from the live stream, seeing your animation playing is yeah, extremely exciting. So I think that this will be um, a big discussion later on with um, with the colleagues here on, on the stage to um, discuss a little bit more how the technique and, and the technical development pretty much changed the, wor the, the kind of work that we're doing at the moment and the thinking. But still, um, I think that uh, it's quite important to find a way on how to bring back this kind of experience with new technical devices, multi-device uh, technology, with responsive design and all those kind of terms that uh, are going through the business at the moment, still doing entertainment, which I think is quite important to not just stick to technology, but to think on how to, to create stuff that pretty much engages people to, to brand or to product. Thank Thanks. you.